so th- th- these people were really smart when they put certain phrases in that some of the people who wanted to keep certain people down either didn't catch, mm-hmm. weren't educated enough to understand what it meant, but some of those things went through. And it, like the phrase, all men are created equal. And for me, to restructure it, I mean, there are mistakes in the Constitution. I would take men out and put mankind in. Mm-hmm. Because that would include everything. Everybody. Children, right. women, Oh, there you go. Men. Nice. Mm-hmm. It, it, w- it would include everyone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm. So, okay, back to the 14th Amendment, just so we're clear for the audience. Um, so the 14th Amendment essentially gave uh, civil rights to the slaves who were new, now newly freed and uh, made them citizens, correct? And then what happened was then they slowly, the boiled frog thing, whereas we were just, the rest of the people, men, were considered um, you know, free naturally under God, and having never been enslaved, having never allowed themselves to be enslaved, I mean, speaking from a Muslim standpoint, it's forbidden to allow yourself to be enslaved. So um, that's just another argument or another interesting aside there. But um, um, so, you know, slowly they worked in the general man into that same citizenship, which now, instead of having your inalienable rights given to you by God, now you are a citizen, you are now a subject to the government, and now all your so-called rights are actually privileges now granted to you by the government, which is clearly controlled, essentially controlled by the crown back in England. So we've all just, everybody's just become subjects again. You know, it took them a few years to, to work that in, but... You know, essentially, that's they just got right back on top again. I mean, absolutely, and and but it was it wasn't a few years. It was instantaneously when pen went to paper. Oh, Be- because most people don't realize that there are four structured paragraphs of the Fourteenth Amendment. People are only ever shown one. Mm-hmm. Okay, paragraph two of the Fourteenth Amendment clearly dictates that U.S. citizens have no right to question the debt in any, of their government in any way, shape, or form, they are simply obliged to pay, pay it. it. Interesting. Interesting. So instantly, you're a slave. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Someone else is spending all the wealth and all the money and doing all the things, and you'll shut up and pay it and like it. Yeah. That's, that's what it says. You're a slave. Right. I don't care if, if you don't have shackles, if you don't have somebody with a gun to your head, you're, you're still a slave. You're, you're paying all of their bills. You're paying their shopping spree, their lavish lifestyle. And basically, what happened at the end of World War uh, of the Revolution, not the Revolution, the Civil War, mm-hmm. is they erected this full-fledged corporation called the United States mm-hmm. on top of the Sovereign House of America, mm-hmm. and then delegated. Okay, well, you're a citizen of the U.S. Well, you, you can't be a citizen of a corporation. Mm-hmm. You can only be a franchisee member of that corporation. Mm-hmm. And once they established that and they stood around and waited, they waited till 1873, like you said, and they, they basically they stood in the crowd and they watched and they looked around and they said, okay, nobody's throwing a fit, nobody's shooting us, nobody's hanging us. Let's see what we can do now. Mm-hmm. Once they took that aspect because consent... Mm-hmm. That's what it says in the Declaration of Independence, is that all just forms of government derive their powers to the consent of the governed. Mm -hmm. So that's what they did. They waited. Mm -hmm. Does anyone want to challenge U.S. citizenship? So our our silence was consent. Your silence was consent, and then they proceeded to do just what you said again, so they brought the lawyers in. Mm -hmm. If everybody's okay with not being people anymore and we're now corporate franchisees, Mm -hmm. well, let's argue for corporate rights. Mm -hmm. And they started creating corporations and giving them civil rights, Mm -hmm. just like the other U.S. citizens. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is that uh, civil rights, I mean, they're just that. They're granted by the government, Mm -hmm. and they can be taken away by the government. Mm -hmm. And simply by saying, I'm a U.S. citizen, you've given consent to the over 100 years of slavery, Mm -hmm. of this new form of slavery. So, and and that's, you know, it's an ideological struggle that I I try to educate people on, and sometimes I have difficulty speaking to different levels uh, of education. Mm -hmm, But I know... 
I know when when you actually start to break this thing down and logically work through the steps, everybody in every country, birth certificates, social security numbers, you all are enrollments of beneficiaries of a central bank. And I don't care what country you're in, if you if okay, even the countries that don't have American central banks and don't use American currency as their peg, but they do. Mm-hmm. Let's say they sell oil. Mm-hmm. You're an oil based country. What's the petrodollar? Mm-hmm. Therefore, you're enrolled as a beneficiary simply oh, I lost by it. using that federal system, and you are now owned by them. Right. Are you still with me? Yeah, I sort of lost you, lost your sound there for a minute, but you're back. <laughs> um, so the birth certificates. When when did that start? Was that with the Fourteenth Amendment? Shortly after the short the the Fourteenth Amendment, did they start issuing birth certificates? Well, in, in, it came right at the change from 1871 to 1872. The government sat down and said, we have to keep track. Of our property. One guy, yeah, the one guy said, we have to keep track of all the stuff that we own. Yeah, us, the people. And, yeah, the people. And basically then another guy said, well, once we have track of everything, we can apply. Another lawyer from Britain decided, well, we can argue income tax or corporate tax at the time is what they called it, mm-hmm. because the government could tax corporations. Mm-hmm. Well, now, if you as an independent individual are attesting to be a corporation, then we can then tax that. But how are we going to do that? So that's where it gave birth to the creature from Jekyll Island, mm-hmm. where you started to see a new central bank to be developed that would come out in, in the 1900s. But yes, in... Uh, 1872, they started issuing these birth certificates Mm -hmm. to U.S. citizens, Mm -hmm. which at that time was 99% the blacks. Mm -hmm. And they had no formal education after hundreds of years of being slaves. Mm -hmm. Uh, They had no formal education to understand how contracts worked or what they did or what it meant or what their rights were or what their powers were. Most of them couldn't even read the words on the page. And some idiot lawyer said, oh, yeah, just make your mark right Right, there. Right, right. Okay, so the birth certificate is that what cre- is that when the straw man was created? Yes, the birth certificate. So it has to do with the Fourteenth Amendment. So the Fourteenth Amendment is what essentially made us slaves. Are we acquiesced through our silence? We lacked, you know, so we essentially consented to this by not standing up and, and, and opposing it, and we then we we got tricked into. Uh, issuing, getting birth certificates issued by the government, which essentially sold our children into bondage. You know, against the will of the, you know, the child doesn't even know this, but mommy and daddy thinking, oh, we're doing the right thing, getting our child, uh, you know, uh, registered, registered, which comes from the word regis, meaning, you know, regal, crown, the whole thing, basically signing over their child as property to the crown. And I've heard that people say, if you pull out your original birth certificate, um, if if you could see it, it would have stamps from banks all over the world because they float these things as a, as some sort of a trading commodity, a, a financial instrument, where they actually issue money based on the on 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 the you know the property the, as the collateral. The human being is the collateral on the loans to these big banks. Or uh, absolutely. Banks. That that you know, most people don't realize that your birth certificate is the contractual agreement of a trust. Mm-hmm. Your birth certificate is a trust instrument. Mm-hmm. What is a trust? A trust oh, you're going out really is a bond. Okay, a trust is a bond. Once you understand that Okay, once you Yeah, a trust is a bond and once you understand that you, your birth certificate signifies a government bond. This bond is then utilized around the world as collateral, but it sits in account and it generates interest, and this is what they build loans and extrapolate this supposed growth off of. Mm-hmm. But what it is when we look at it is the straw man and, and these things were given birth at that time, and your birth certificate is an enrollment. You are, you are giving the property over. And to talk about the original birth certificates, Whenever you flip the original over Mm -hmm. and you look at the back, Mm -hmm. there's going to be columns. Down the right side, you'll see printed word from typewriters or computers, whatever it is today. Mm -hmm. And you'll see all of these denotated stamps all over the place, up the right column. And you don't 
know what any of them are. Mm -hmm. But it's easy to know because in the left column, in red, you have written every single name of every central bank that has ever touched that contract mm -hmm. and every single central bank which has some controlling interest in that contract, and that contract is you. Mm -hmm. Now, if, if anybody listening, if that doesn't send chills down your spine, it should. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> you need to recheck your, your consciousness because these people are literally saying we are property, we are slaves, we are to be done with whatever they want, you know, whatever they choose. They are above us.